You guys, I know what you're here for. You're here for the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Interactive Community Quiz Challenge. As you guys know, Kyle walked me through um, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer entire series as a brand new noob, but it's my turn to flip the script and uh, propose to you all some questions I have gathered via the internet and some for myself, from myself, if I do say so myself. So I'm excited to mm -hmm. see do not put super, super um, pressure on yourselves. This is a this is totally supposed to be for funsies. It's also, you're going to lose points if you're wrong. You're going to get more points if you are confident and click it faster. Um, you're going to lose more points if you are confident and you get it incorrectly. So it's going to be, it's one of those things that you don't, don't worry about the points. This is all for fun. So it's a lot of fun. There's a quiz challenge today? There is, you know. <laughs> is that what I'm here for? Yes. Yes, drink. I know it is. I know it is. And play along even if you don't watch the show. Do we click the screen or enter a choice in chat? You click the screen, Zeno. And I'm going to ask that nobody says what their choice was until after it goes away. So that not everybody is piggybacking and cheating off of each other. It's time. We're doing it. It's the first time I've ever done this on this stream, so we'll see if I do it very poorly, too. It says sending rules to players, so it should be popping up here on screen very shortly. Okay, so reading together. The players with the highest amount of points at the end wins. Players with the correct answers gain points. For answers, uh, you gain more points. If you answer incorrectly, you lose points by answering faster. If you don't answer, the points are... Earned or lost, play strategically. You can't, you, you don't lose or win, or if you if you don't answer. But are you guys ready? <clears throat> Away we go. Start game. Who was the first vampire we saw on screen? We've got Angel, Spike, Darla, or the Master. Who? was the first vampire we saw on screen. Every question's gonna have 25 seconds. I already answered, so good. we're good. Good! <laughs> good luck, Slayers. It took a second for it to come up, though. I, don't I love that, Janine. It's fine. I know, it's gonna take a second each time. Uh, it'll probably take a couple more seconds for everybody to catch up to make sure that we're all on sync, and then it'll go to the next one. But yeah. Sweet! Ah! You ready? Hey Luna, hello! Uh, Luna, instead of playing in chat, you can literally push on the screen what you want your answer to be. If you want to join in with a fun, exclamation point join will make it clickable and we'll have your name be put up on the leaderboard. So exclamation point join to learn the 30 second step it has to do to join in. And uh, yeah, reveal answer. Who was the first vampire we saw on screen? Answer was Darla. Well, Make sure the answer is off screen before you answer in chat. All right, all right. I think it's okay. Yes, now it's showing. Darla. The first one was Darla. Actually, here's a little Buffy trivia for you. The series opened with two young students breaking into Sunnydale High. The girl thought she heard something and asked her male companion if he heard it as well. When he replied, no. The female showed us her vamp face. The boy was later found in a locker by Cordelia, and the vampire was identified as. D Yes. I'm gonna have a lot of stupid facts, Kyle, and if you ever want to, like, talk or, like, say anything, by all means, sure. shut me up. Yeah. Yeah, no, and the scene was meant to be misleading. Yeah? It was meant to, to make everyone believe that the male student was the vampire and she was the uh, victim in that scene. And then they spun it on the audience. All right, all right, we're gonna go on to the next one, if I can remember where I put it. Next question. We have 50 of these guys, so let's see. What is the last word of the Gentleman's Nursery Rhyme in the episode Hush? Is it heard? Is it silent? Is it screaming? Ooh. Or is it hurt? I feel so stupid. I know! I was gonna say, these are a little bit harder than you expect, but at the same time, not. But it's the 25 seconds that are gonna, like, kill us all. Ooh, I probably got it wrong. Oh gosh. Oh, I, yes! I can't believe I don't remember that. We're waiting for players. Waiting for players. Waiting for players. Alright, alright. 
I think we can move on in just a second. It's like, it's a weird delay thing, so I have to make sure I give everybody extra time. Uh, but, revealing the answer. Do 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 do. Revealing the answer. Heard. That one was kind of tricky. That one was kind of tricky. You get it? Yeah! Yeah! I got it, all right. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. How do I see what the leaderboard is at? Show scores. I there we it go. Was, can't be heard is what they last say. Can't be heard. Nice. Yeah. So so far, Drink is in the lead. Jarvis, and then Rachel, and then Zeno, Novel, Kyle, <laughs> King, Janobi, and contestant number thirteen. Contestant number thirteen. If you know that's you, uh, you can go ahead and do exclamation point join to get your name on the leaderboard. All right. Total scores. Noise. 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 So I see how to do all this. Um, I don't remember the, the, the... Yeah, Cthulhu! Heck yeah! Hell yeah! Can't call to mom, can't say a word, you're gonna die screaming and it won't be potato. It's absolutely potato. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna show every five questions, we'll look at the leaderboard, so we don't look at it every single time. But, uh, next question. You guys ready? Well done, drink. Which episode did Jonathan first appear in? Bad Eggs, Inca Mummy Girl, Goldfish, or Superstar? First appearance of Jonathan. Who? Jonathan, uh, the, the, he's one of the characters of the trio later on. Just kidding, just kidding. Ooh. Which one, which one? You got this, Kyle, you know this. I, 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 it's between two of these. Don't, don't, uh, don't okay. run out of time. My strategy is guess fast and I've, lose. I've, ar I've already guessed, but I, I still am You're not confident on that one? Yeah. This is exciting. I like being the fan! <laughs> Alright, alright, we're revealing the answer. Inca Mummy Girl. Yes! <laughs> so far, so right. Ooh, and this is another split one because of GoFish. And I'm trying to make it intentionally really hard, so I did look up all the ones that he was in, and uh, all the answers could be right too, so it's gonna be tricky. Uh, although not considered canon by creator Joss Whedon, uh, technically, Danny Strong's first appearance as Jonathan was in the unaired pilot of Buffy, along with Harmony, who appears chronologically in The Harvest. Also mentioned in the unaired pilot were Oz's band, Dingo's Ate My Baby, who also don't appear until Eat the Mummy. Yes. <laughs> These are stupid fun facts, but you guys are gonna get them. And if you guys know anything more, please let me know. Oh, I actually got Mackenzie, it wrong. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, if you haven't seen the unaired pilot, I don't know if you have or not, I do have a copy if you'd like to watch it. I do. I really would like to see it at some point. Great. And the movie too, dude. Yeah, absolutely. No fun fact, it's stupid. Sharvana, the ultimate fan. I knew all these! I'm reciting these out of my brain. All of these facts. Fan theory it. Just fan theory it. The entered pilot on YouTube too. Really weird to see how someone else played Willow. Yeah, that was the one change in cast members. This is a bad idea for someone who's never played the game. Ah! Never played the game, never watched the movie. Which one, Luna? Next question. Here we go. How old is Glory? This is kind of tricky. She says it. Is she 16? Is she 25? Is she 20? Or is she infinite? Well, that's a, it is a, tri it feels it's a like, trick question. It's like a trick question. But she says it. I know this is wrong. I, I want to go with the one that's not. I want to go with the obvious, but I went with another one. <laughs> it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. The entity or the body? No! Is the entity yeah, not the body? The, see, that's the tricky part. Yeah. If you go with the entity, then I would go with the one, and then if you go with the body, I'd go with the other. <laughs> this may be the first one I got wrong. All right, ready? How does Glory self-identify? Well, I suppose that is the crux of the question. Ooh, okay. So in 
you hear Glory say this when she's talking to her minions in Wait of the uh, World. I got it wrong. She says, Glory tells them, I have waited 25 human years for this key. Ah, uh, God. <laughs> it's a trick one! It's a trick one! So, like, everybody's got, nobody's gonna get all these perfect. And if you do, I will be highly impressed. I need Oof. to know that answer. How does she just it? Because the entity Glory existed long before the body. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, you can be mad at me for that one. It's fine. There's a couple butt hurt questions in here just to make sure nobody gets all of them right. Ready? Here we go. Next. Question number five. How many principles have appeared on Buffy? Speaking of butt hurt questions, think closely. Oh. Flash person has existed for 25. Well, well. The butt hurt question. How many principles have appeared on Buffy? Oh, oh my god, I failed. I failed. Oh <laughs> no. I totally overlooked. I totally overlooked what it is. Damn it, no. I'm an idiot and I overlooked wood. Damn it. Is it oh, her man. Henry Pencil, the question uh question of the canon movie script? Ooh, um, I don't know. Oh is no. It no, no. If I he was... overlooked I overlooked the principal. Oh gosh. Like twelve point my uh I don't really know. Is she sharing with Ben? Then maybe it's like 50-50, depending about yeah, I get that. I get that. Alright. Alright, you ready? You ready? A reveal answer. It's three, I bet. It's technically four. It was four. Yes! Can you figure it out? Isn't her her me principal in the question of the canon moves? It's not the movie script up to what I'm going off of. Like I said, I was doing research. I found some of these questions online. Some of them I've made up. Was, was I don't think her ex principal would have been there at her entrance to the school at the opening of the episode, but maybe from her prior high school. Well, I have. You got this question wrong. You're mostly said likely said three. However, besides Flutie, Snyder, and Wood, there was also Principal yeah. Stevens in the episode Tough Love. Portrayed by Anne Bentecourt. Yes, no? You're over here like, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Only like three people got that one right anyway. So, you ready? Yes. All right, next question. In Real B, what three popular games did Anya and Xander take to Buffy's house when babysitting? We got oh, I know this clues, one. categories, and life, Monopoly clue and life, Monopoly clue and categories, or categories, Monopoly and life. Read them closely. Shiver me timbers! I knew the answer, but it took me a while to read. There uh -huh. we go. Rachel, that's actually a really good point. I should have, that would have been really cheeky to include that. How confident, Kyle? Oh, I'm confident I got it right. I just was a little late on the, on that click. Ready, steady? These were not the questions I was expecting. Jenobi, what kind of questions were you expecting? I told you they were gonna yeah, be hard. Too. What'd you say? I said yes, indeed. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice! That was so many of you. Nice! Okay. Uh, we're gonna look at our leaderboard because actually this is... This is about five questions in. This is actually question six. But it's time to show that, that score. Rachel with the lead. Rachel, then Novel, then King, Jarvis, your fourth place for not knowing anything, fabulous. Then Kyle, then Zeno, then Jeff, Genovi, and Drink. From the bottom to the top, to the top, to the bottom. 
It's it very, it's anybody's game though, because the faster you are confident with your answers and click it, you can go up. That was for the question score, never mind. This is for the total scores, because I am a dumbass. King is on top. Zeno's next. Then Kyle. Well done, Kyle. Uh, then it's Drink. Then it's Novel. Then it's Rachel. Then it's Jarvis. Then it's Shinobi. Then it's Jeff. Well done, guys. Okay. I did, Jarvis. I did. My bad. No, I'm actually shocked. I'd have way more points if not for the huge swing on that one. <laughs> it's fine. Don't be butthurt. Next question. Join ain't working. Uh, who is the founder of Sunnydale? You gotta click the link and just do the steps on it, Cthulhu. Exclamation point, join. Do the steps that show up in chat. Who is the founder of Sunnydale? They got the mustard out. You can still join at any time. It's really anybody's game. Because the more you answer, the faster you answer, the more points you get. The last you answer incorrectly, the more points you lose. But you can still play at any point. I didn't. I, I did not know that question. I did not, or I did not know the answer to that one for sure. There were two that I was suspecting. One I definitely know is not the answer, and the other one I also know is not the answer. <laughs> the other options are interesting, but they are characters. They are characters in the Buffyverse. Uh, Cthulhu. Uh, just so we're gonna go over real quick for they got the mustard out and for Cthulhu. Exclamation point join. All you gotta do is go to that, that YouTube and you can follow the steps. It's hovering over us right now on my face. You'll see something pop up on that side of the screen by Kyle. Click it and just say uh, accept permissions. And you should have your name on the leaderboard. It's super, super easy. Two clicks and you're yeah. in. Yeah. Manage yes. access and then. Mm -hmm. Two clicks and you're in. Reveal answer. Richard Wilkins. AKA. Wait. The mayor. Wait, Richard Wilkins? Uh, why am I. The I mayor. He was around for a long time, but I didn't actually Joe think he was going. Keeps me going. Keeps me going every day. Good God. Okay. It says wow. Richard Wilkins served as mayor for about a century and also founded the town. The first tells this to Faith when masquerading as the mayor. So, in the, one of the last episodes. I am clearly not a fan, my god. <laughs> not on a work computer, I won't. Ah, uh, fair, Cthulhu, fair. I did it, says Jarvis, I did it! Noise, noise. All right, hopefully you're all caught up, Mustard. And you totally can play at any point, my friend. Who is Ann Pratt? Ann Pratt, I'm pretty sure, was Spike's mom. Yeah, yep. You were correct. Yep. Ted is the robot? Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And Roger Price? Roger Wyndham Price, if you will? Haha. -ha. I feel like it was too much of an obvious, not right answer. Oh my gosh, Roger Price. That's why it sounded familiar. Yep. Jeez. Yep. Next question! What shade of Joyce's lipstick, I told you this would be one, and Faith, uh, is Faith attracted to in the episodes This Year's Girl and Who Are You? Was it Harlot, Jezebel, Hussy, or Vagabond? Of course there's gonna be a fashion question in there at one point. Of course there's gonna be a lot of Faith questions. It's me. It's me. <laughs> it's me. I believe I got this right. I'm not positive, yeah, but right. I'm pretty sure. I'm it is sure. not. It's a little bit bright, a little bit darker than mine, actually. I have something similar. Alright, here we go. Here we go. It was Harlot. Oh, come on! <laughs> no! I've heard my quote, Jezebel. No, it's just another name I came up with. Uh, when... I totally thought it was Jezebel. I totally thought it was Jezebel. When Gosh. Faith goes to put on the lipstick and who are you, Jez Joyce tells her that it was the same one Faith picked, and uh, Faith and Buffy then tosses it to Joyce and tells her to burn it. Uh, I can't figure it out joining it. It's killing me. Dang that lipstick, though. Uh, they got the mustard out. Click this link. Click this link. It's a it's a visual, complete, easy, step-by-step. -step. I just typed, dropped it in chat. To play, down at the bottom. Very last link in chat. 
Hello, Dice. How are you doing? It's as simple as possible. That's, that's, I can't get any simpler than that, my friends. To play, click that link just to look at how to do it. And then you can click on on stream the questions. I am doing very lovely, guys. How are you? Plus, I like being 13. <laughs> I like being number 13. Contestant number 13? We know, Cthulhu. We know it's you. Alright, on to the next question. Question number 9. 9 out of 50. 9 out of 50. You can certainly catch up. If you're just now joining us, you can certainly overtake people. All you gotta do is answer the right questions faster. You ready, Kyle? I am ready. Let's do it. In Chosen, what does Buffy compare herself to? A school bus? A cookie dough? A stuffed animal? Trash. Chosen, one of the very last episodes. What does she compare herself to? I'd rather be number six. Why? Oh, I feel six. like it's, it's. I feel like that's not quite the answer, but I'm gonna go with that anyway because that sounds like the closest to what I'm going for. Let's see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Chosen. Old TV show reference to a show called The Prisoner. It has to be number six. It is a metaphor, not a simile. Well, she still compares herself to it. You ready? Cookie dough. Remember? Yay! Remember? I thought it was a cookie, though. I didn't think it was cookie dough, but... She's, hmm. she's not ready yet. She's not ready for a relationship. She's like cookie dough. She'll be, she'll be perfect one day. She's not ready right now. Yeah, I suppose it could go both ways, so I guess it counts either way. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the simile versus metaphor. It's I am cookie dough or I am like cookie dough. Like makes it a simile. Yeah, Dice. So, Dice, you have just exclamation point join. Click that to see how to join. You don't just automatically get put in. Eat raw cookie dough. So like your starting character. Exactly. My starting character is cookie dough. The brilliant. Brilliant. Luna. Luna. We'll just get it erase the minus sign and you're a winner. You're absolutely a winner. I can't remember ta Char talking a lot during the reaction. About this a lot during the reaction. Yep. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. Next question and then we'll look at our scores. What is Warren's last name? Is it Calendar? Is it Mears? Is it Levinson? Or is it Wells? This is a little bit tough because where it comes from. <laughs> Skinner. Uh, I think I got it wrong. Man, I Ooh. feel like an idiot now. King, try refreshing. It should still be working. Click on the wrong one. Damn! This novel. It worked this time. Good. Good. I still feel like this is a prototype overlay for a lot of people, so... Nah, I'm looking for a specific score. I think I'm gonna start rolling a d4 and letting that guide my guesses. You should, Jarvis, just to see how well it goes. That would be fun. Alright, revealing the answer! The answer is... Mears! Yeah! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so, in I Was Made to Love You, the episode, uh, Warren's last name could be seen in the yearbook. And Willow also says his name out loud. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 69. Yeah, everyone knew minutes. it was not Calendar, because we all know who Calendar is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I tried. Let's see how the scores right now. Total scores. Total scores on top. We got Zeno Saga, and then Rachel, and then King, and then Drink, and then Kyle, and then Novel, <laughs> and then Jinobi, and then Jeff, and then Jeffsy Groves. <laughs> Very well done, guys. Very well done. 
I'm coming for you, Zito. She says the full name before she flays him, I think. Mm. Delicious. Easy. Does anybody need a break? Are we good? And one in chat if people need breaks. If we get like five people, I will take a break. Kyle, feel free to say one as well. I'm good. Good? Good? Oh, wait, I'm seven. You are! I've still got a lot of drinking to do. Thank you for the hydrate. Cthulhu, thank you for the hydrate. Water for hydrates, coffee for me. Alright. Well, then we're moving on. I will see one in chat. Ready, steady, go. Working at the magic box, Buffy is asked about which two candles on sale that may create a more romantic atmosphere. Amber, Romance, and Essence of Slug. Lemon, Seduction, and Essence of Slug. Amber, Romance, and Newt Muir. Lemon, Seduction, and Newt Muir. Mm. Four seconds. Three seconds. I think I got it wrong. I believe... I believe one of them was... Yeah. That you believe one of them was what? We're already on the... After countdown. Lemon Seduction. Yeah, so I, I believe one of them was Lemon, lemon Seduction, but I could be mistaken. Let's just see. I could have totally failed this one. <laughs> Let's see. So ten... Lemon seduction and the essence of slug. <laughs> You're like, ah, so close! There's a 60,000 point difference between 11th and 12th place. I, you know, it can catch up pretty fast though. Insta click and answer for every question. I'm never going to do, uh, skip one I don't know. I remember the essence of slug. I think it's getting poked by delay. That's why the clicks didn't work before. Ah! I'm sorry, King. If you can! Go to a computer, because I'm afraid that uh, a lot of stuff is happening for phones. But uh, this happens in the episode uh, that Buffy keeps having to relive the same day over and over again. Yeah. So um, Buffy click loses is patient with the man asking her advice over and over. So in the end, gives him a candle sl a slug candle saying, Go with slug. You like slug. She's not going to sleep with you anyway. It's so weird that I remember the lemon seduction part and not the slug part. Right. <laughs> This thing fired a lot of magic missiles. I know it won't let me down. Jarvis, this is such a strategy. I'm, I'm here for it. I blame the person who made up the question. No, Cthulhu! This question would be more fun without the working at the magic box context. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Alright, next one. How many characters has Giles kissed Passionately. A peck on the forehead does not count. Passionately. How many people have kissed this man on screen? Hmm. It feels like a trick question. I'm gonna go with this one, though. A trick? Why would it be a trick? Who on earth would ever want to trick you <laughs> with any questions? <laughs> Did he kiss the three vampire girls Dracula after send down for him? Maybe. And Angel wasn't nah. even on screen. That's true. You're Not close. You're you're close to something correct at the uh, opener there, Cthulhu. But uh, you, you got the wrong character. Who was it? Kyle. Who was it? You said oh, wrong who? Character. I I believe it was Xander. I don't remember. I'm Wait. Dead. No, I think they are right. Maybe I am wrong, because Xander was more of a, a servant than anything. I'm curious who got <laughs> this right. Side. No, Xander was fly eating today. Oh, a yes. fly eating toady. That's right. That's right. <gasps> what, Wait, Xander I got that wrong? You did! <laughs> what? One person got this right. Uh, that, I think that answer is incorrect. I, pretty positive I'm pretty going to tell you what the internet said. I believe I, I believe that is wrong. Okay. Oh, unless they're going off of just what we see on screen, in which case that would be Joyce. Okay, well, okay. He has kissed Jenny. He has kissed Jenny Calendar. Yeah, we all know that. Yes. He has kissed, kissed Olivia. 
We know Olivia. Yes. Joyce. Anya at one point. And oh my god. Drusilla. Yes, but he's also he's also kissed Joyce, I thought, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that was one of the ones. In Tabula oh, Rasa, okay. Willow did a spell that caused everyone to lose their memory. Anya and Giles thought they were engaged, and he also kissed Drusilla and becoming part two. He was under a spell thinking Drusilla was actually Jenny. In Tabula Rasa, of course. God damn it. <laughs> See? See? I told you they were gonna be difficult. Nice. Nice. Joyce and Jenny and the three vampires. I don't remember if he actually kissed the three vampires or not. He did more than just kiss Joyce. God damn it. <laughs> We, we, most of us were thinking three because of what, well, at least what I, what I believe I wanna, most of us I want to see who got it. Who, who got it? Ah! Oh, Cthulhu! Cthulhu got it. Contestant number 13. Well, Cthulhu, you clearly Even know though you were kissing. You, <laughs> you were thinking it was the other ones, but. Absolutely. 13 players, hell yeah. How many people have dreamed about the cheese man? How many people have dreamed about the cheese man? <laughs> oh, Three, four, five, or six. Cheese. Oh boy. Twice? You can get negative points on this? You absolutely can, Dice. If you are confident and click it too fast, you are gambling with the amount of points that you are, are timing down with. Yeah, it's. I really it's do one think of those about Adam and A plus question. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Man. These are all like easy, and yet somehow I don't know. I know. Much yeah, I know. They're, they're easy, and yet I, I feel like an idiot that I don't remember. Easy enough to draw everybody in, and yet hard enough that everybody. Because we all know, we all we all know like what episodes that these are referring to in the moments, and we can see it, and then it's like, wait, but were there? Uh -huh. I've gone from. Because I've still got a lot of. Hydrated Cthulhu. Uh, I have gone from 120 to 70,000. Noise. What if I dream about the cheese man? Does that count? I don't think so. I wouldn't know your dreams. Time to get the highest negative score. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie is enjoying this way too much. I am! I am! I think Luna's gonna have to beat you there. <laughs> Obviously, many of you guys could easily step into the fan role for me because you guys know your stuff. <laughs> I'm just glad that you convinced me to finally, finally watch it. You ready? Yes. <laughs> the exact correct amounts. It was six, and nobody chose. Ooh, another. This is like the first one I wiped you all on. <laughs> Kyle needs to make a quiz wow. for Shar next. About my hero academia, I'd I'd happily do that one. Bring it on. Oof. I just guess this novel. Uh, okay, how many people have dreamed about the cheese man? My facts. My my citations. How is it six? There are only four in the episode. Well, well cause it's not more than just one episode. Willow. Oh my god. What a trick question. <laughs> Willow, Xander, Giles, and Buffy dream of him up in Restless, which is the one you're thinking of. But in the episode Storyteller. It is revealed that he was in a dream both that Andrew and Jonathan had. There was a quick flash of him with a quick flash of cheese slices that they were in Willow's dream from Restless. This is what he this is what he does. Uh love! <laughs> I love Mac. Uh Aka Faith? Aka <laughs> Faith! Oh my goodness! Hello, friend! Welcome! Welcome! Thank you for the username! You're cute! You're cute! What can I call you? Uh, if you would like to join in, exclamation point join, we'll give you the steps. You can see uh, Drink has just dropped it. Thank you so much, Drink. Uh, if you click that YouTube, it'll give you a 30 second guide to make sure that you get your name on the leaderboard. And then all you have to do is click the the, the answers that you think is below. We'll be saying that a lot on this stream. I know, because this is the first time we've ever used this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 30 seconds tops. We'll give you a second to join. Thank you guys. Thank you, Zeno. Thank you, Jarvis. Thank you, Drink. <laughs> I just realized how many of you guys were trying to help out. I appreciate that. Hey, they were visions, says King. Negative 124. We might as well look at the scores while we're waiting for... Uh, we'll call you Love for now. I'll call you Love for now until you give me a name. There we go. Ooh, that's the question score. This is the total scores. Rachel. You said you were coming for Zeno, and you have come for Zeno. 
spelling is hard. So Rachel's at the top, then Zeno, then Kane, then Drink, then Novel, then Kyle, then Jeff, then Cthulhu, then Genobi. And I'm not sure who else is there. Oh wait, I can scroll down. Can you guys scroll down? I don't know if you guys can scroll down. Dobie, then Dice, then Jeff, then Dr. Jarvis, then Luna. I don't know if you guys can scroll down or not. I don't know how this works. I'm learning too. We cannot I scroll cannot, down. That's for sure. Well, those are our top five that you can see, but I will continue to announce them. I have lost my throne by a long shot. <laughs> it says our rank at the top. Ah, well, there's that. There's that. That's fine. I will I will still call him out. There's enough of us. Here we go. Next question. When Buffy goes down in the final battle against the first, what are her last words to Faith? Is it hold the line, make them believe, I trust you, or this is it? Mm. Ooh, I'm good at making up questions. Yay. <laughs> Guessing again. I meant even if you can't scroll down to see it. I thought it was how. Uh, oh, before, before they go down. I, yeah, it could be any one of those. <laughs> Because I'm a writer, I'm and I know jealous. exactly what Josh Vita would write for Buffy, so I came up with three other lines, and uh, they're all acceptable. Wait, so you came up with the additional... <laughs> yeah, on some of these questions, I was like, uh, they did have a question, and I'm like, I have to come up with believable other options. Well, you are quite good at this. Well, thank you. <laughs> I tried to make it hard. So far, my die is zero out of two, and I'm really done I got this one right. The trick she said, all of them, probably. And I've only ever watched season seven. Why not, Rachel? Why not? Here we go. Revealing the answer. Hold the line. Perfect. Yay! All right. Yeah. Very well done. Very well done. That was a lot of people on that one. Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was my first initial response, and then I, I saw the rest of them, I go, actually, that sounds like something I could hear her say. <laughs> Buffy tells her to hold the line, then hands her the scythe. However, a few moments later, she gets up and proceeds to fight. But, um, yeah, th there's no chance that she would say, I trust you, or make them, well, maybe make them believe. Maybe. Yeah, but it's a final battle. Oh, you know, it's the final. It is true. This is true. Next question! Yay, more negative points! <laughs> Get it, Luna. Get it. I believe in you. How many times, not episodes, did Angel come back for Sunnydale after he left for LA at the end of season three? How many times did he return? Not episodes did he return for, but how many times did he come back? Who? Some of these are going to be easier, I swear, but some of these are still really tricky. If it's if it's one of the two, I don't think it is. I will be surprised. <laughs> That's hilarious. That said, hold the line. I know. Seriously, Jarvis. I also thought like, hold the door. Hey, look, it's Halsey. Halsey, the the visiting kitty cat. Hold the door. Oh, sweet boy. I don't know anything about Buffy anymore. <laughs> Dice. It doesn't matter. You could still win. Honestly. Hi, Wolfie. Make them believe something like something she said when she was kicked out. It's true. Believe them. Like, oh yeah, Angel picks up blood from Sandy Dell off screen every other Tuesday. Everybody does a blood day. It's once a month, my friend. It's once a month. Don't be nice. I'd be all down for that. An SBN quiz? That'd be amazing. Supernatural quiz? I would yeah. like that one. Alright, <laughs> revealing the answer. Ooh, nice. Everybody got it. Well, most everybody got it. Uh, how many times does uh, Angel come back? Four. Four. Well done. That was a great... That yeah. was a great guess, everyone. We don't actually... We don't actually see him come back all four times, though. That's the thing. Uh, Angel came back to visit in Pangs, the episode Pangs, the Yoko Factor. Uh, forever. End of Days and Chosen. But the last two episodes were on the same visit. Although Angel appeared in every other episode, or appeared in other episodes in season five, they were actually flashbacks. He was not actually in them. Yes, we do. Nice, love. 
really the only one. <laughs> Luna, I, I send you all my love. I send you all my love. I really, really do. <laughs> okay, we go on. We go on. I have a question 15. I, you got this. You got this. Who did not audition for the part of Buffy? Allison Hannigan, Julie Binns, Elizabeth Ann Allen, or Mercedes McNabb? I'm guessing here based mm -hmm. on what I do know. Who did not audition? I probably got it wrong. I didn't. Points, please. <laughs> Who did not audition for the part? All right, waiting for players. Ready to reveal? Reveal answer. Allison Hannigan. Allison Hannigan did yes! not. Yes. Yes. Even Julie did. And I could go into that. Who is Elizabeth? Elizabeth Ann Allen is uh, Amy. Amy. I also picked Jarvis as my answer. <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis did not. Mackenzie was not able to. Kyle did not. And I know, and I know the why. I know the reason why Allison Hannigan was uh, didn't have to audition. But I'm afraid I would give away possibly another question in the future. So I will hold off until. Why we're not? Done why not? Answer. No, go ahead and say it now. You never know. Uh, because I believe her name was Reagan Riff or something like that was the original um, actress who played um, Willow and they had a last minute um, change and Allison Hannigan was not exactly an up and coming um, actress but she had been she had more experience than most of the other um, people on the show at that point because Sarah Michelle Gellar had done soap operas but Allison Hannigan had been in movies so Seth Green and Allison Hannigan were probably as far as an American audience the most um, experienced actors on the show at that point. And so she was. She was an easy. She was an easy uh, ad. She did. <laughs> you she know. Was, she was super talented. Riff Reagan. That's what it was. Yes, I had it backwards. Not Reagan. Riff. Riff Reagan. No, my points would be the correct amount. Down. <laughs> what movies did Allison Hannigan? Uh, what movies was she in? Uh, she was in. Um, what is it? My, my stepmom's an alien. I think is what it was called. <laughs> American Pie. But was she was she... in American Pie, but that was after yeah. she had already gotten into Buffy, so... Stepmother's Alien with Seth Green. Yes! Oh. My stepmother is an alien, yes, with Seth Green. They both were in that together. It was very cute. Little cute children them. Alright. Let's do it. Next question, everyone. Thank you for the facts, though. Yeah that I know. <laughs> yeah. As well as the replacement, which other season five episode did Nick Vincent's twin brother appear on? Little did you know, I am teaching you all some facts, you all. And now the host, Finn and Teller Fool Us. Ooh, yeah. She's on that? I don't know this one. I don't know this one at all. I know, right? Like I said, I didn't I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that one and hope for the best. Huh. Woo. Yeah, I was stumped on that one. She's been the host of it for several years now. Didn't know he had a twin. Yes, you know. Oh yeah, there's. Yeah, tell oh, yeah. him that one. He has a twin. Um, specifically in the replacement is the episode where they they gave him the most on screen time. So you actually you don't see a split screen double for that. It's actually his brother that is his twin. Yeah, when they when they look at each other and laugh, ha ha ha. That's actually in he. Yeah, it's really crazy. Uh, okay, so really the answer. Intervention. Intervention. Hmm. Uh, Nick was ill while filming some of the interventions, so his brother, Kelly Donovan, took his place in various scenes. The two brothers are identical, so avoid being mistaken for Nick. Kelly sometimes colors his hair blonde. Yeah, I should trick him like pretty wild that they have very different names, first and last, but they are twins, yes. He's also, well, stage names and stuff. He was also a stuntman yeah. going forward from that episode. Nice. I did know that. 
<laughs> my score is complete. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Show the scores. Luna's score is negative 169. You don't have to play for the rest of the game, Luna. I mean, I'd love to have you here and I want you to keep playing, but you don't have to and it'll stay, remain negative 169. You never know. I mean, you guys have really stepped up because I feel like I've been doing well recently and now I'm somehow I'm not at seven. Rachel's so you still guys are really stepping it up. Zeno, then drink, then king, then novel, then uh, love, then uh, Kyle, then Genobi, then Jeff, then contestant number 13, aka Cthulhu, then Dice, and Jarvis, and Luna. Next question. Points for the other 69 one. <laughs> Noise. I haven't gotten a question right between six and that one. No, no, King! I told you they were gonna be challenging. This is all for fun. This is just not actually prove if you were a real Buffy fan or not. This is actually just saying, if you, you showed up, you're playing the game, you are a Buffy fan. Don't let this, like, intimidate anybody. This is fine, okay? Here we go. You're worth slaying on and off screen. Take your water. In what episode did Buffy first say, I love you to Angel? Was it amends? Into the woods? I was made to love you or lie to me? Fake well, Jarvis, just because you haven't seen it. <laughs> what question is this? This is question number 18. I've been showing the scores at random times anyway. Whoops. Did you did you come up with the additional answers for these? Because they are all great choices. I did. I did, my friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I may not have come up with all of the questions, but uh, I did come You're up with You're really the... good at giving answers. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Gabe, uh, pretty sure uh, he has watched Buffy more than all of us combined. Yeah, I miss Gabe. Alright, revealing the answer. Lie to me. Ah, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, Buffy first said I love you to Angel in the episode Lie to Me when Angel's at Buffy's house to tell her that her friend Four is up to something. He asks if she loves him, but he hesitates and then says, she does. Next question. Oh, that sad fun Kyle face. I love it. I love it. I love that you're getting into this now. Next question. <laughs> In season two, what's my line? Part one. What is the first thing we see Drusilla doing? Is she draining a victim? Playing with a spider, kissing Angel, or reading tarot cards? Oh my god, these are getting harder for me. You're brilliant. Thank you, love! Like I said, I, I did get a lot of these online. If you were fast enough, you only have 20 seconds to look them all up, but if you were fast enough, I reworded a lot of them so you wouldn't be able to look them up that easy, but you could probably find a lot of these online. <laughs> Can't take all of the I'm pretty credit. sure I got this one wrong, but yeah. Waiting for players. Um, failing. Come on, man. You got some good ones here. <laughs> it should I be. I swear they're getting harder. Kissing, I right. swear Just they're getting harder. Just say. Reading tarot cards. Well done. Woo! Uh, I like the playing with the spider one. That would have been fun. That would have been fun. Freaky, but fun. Uh,. It's not really obscure or surprising trivia because Drusilla is a seer. It is also not surprising for her to be seen doing any of these other things, but Angel had not turned bad, so there was no kissing between them there yet. Man. <laughs> I hope you're having fun, It was fun, my though. second guess. I am. It was my second guess, though. I, of course, assumed it was playing with a spider, and I was like, it seems odd, because you'd think we'd see it, but I didn't know if it was one of those... It's implied that she is, but we're not seeing it. And then I thought, but she would be reading tarot cards. <laughs> it seems odd for the whole Buffy verse, though. Like, we haven't really seen anybody else playing tarot cards, but... The die She's the one who would, though. Yeah. But seven out of eight for rolling three plus. So who's the real winner? Yeah, Jarvis, all you gotta say is that y you're rolling out all of the bad luck. You're getting the bad luck out of the dice, so whenever you use it for real, it's gonna be good. They don't have a budget for a spider. <laughs> It's me. It's me. What you talking about? Hard to show that in 480 TBS. Next question. 
who said this? On the plus side, you killed the bench, which was looking shifty. Was it Giles, Willow, Oz, or Xander? Buffy beats up a bitch. It's hard. It's hard with the scoobs. Yeah. Oh no, I answered wrong. Oh, ah! I knew who it was. Ah! I knew who it was. Ah! I answered wrong. Ah! You gotta sacrifice ah! those few extra points just to make sure that you click the right one. What's the record for negative points? I'll let you know. I'll let you know, Luna. I you're in the, you're you're you the record, Luna. Answer. This is the first time I've ever done this on this stream, Luna, so, uh, so, you, so you currently have the record I, holder. Can I guess who I think it was before you reveal it? Uh, yes. I mean, I know who I think sounds like, but the dice... Might I'm pretty there. sure, I'm pretty sure it was Oz, and I said Willow, and I'm pretty sure it was Oz. Let's see. It was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like second, like a second after I clicked Willow, I thought. You're ah, like that, that, that. That was definitely Oz. That was definitely mm -hmm. Oz. That's an Oz thing. Uh, Oz was on patrol with Buffy when she was frustrated with her new roommate Kathy, and she took yeah, it out on the bench. It was, I think, potentially the the first and possibly only time we ever see Oz and Buffy alone together on a uh, patrol. Mm -hmm. No, I was almost over 200,000! You got it right, Luna? <laughs> I would have been wrong anyway. Yeah, this one's the Oz's longest lines in the whole show. Really? I got the episode right, too. Isn't that crazy? If that's one of his longest lines in the whole show... He was the silent type. He always had some quip and that was it. <laughs> yeah, but he's also like one of the better loved characters, at least for me. Which is Well, funny. you know. He works. You tend to be more loved when you don't talk a lot. <laughs> Well, damn, I'm failing that one. T Tara's kind of quiet, too, you know, and people love her for a reason. It's true. <laughs> He's Dr. Evil's son. Oh, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You have to love him and suffer the consequences. That's Don't right. worry, I bet. You're doing great. <laughs> Not as low as I don't Cotton. know how well I'm doing, but I'm glad I Connor didn't get this right, this one right until after I clicked the wrong button. You know, Connor needs to talk less, apparently. Ta Connor talks a lot. Connor complains a lot, let's be real. Next question. He does. <laughs> In Something Blue, what song did Buffy want as the first dance to her and Spike's wedding? Was it Right Here I'm Waiting? Total Eclipse of the Heart, Time After Time, or Wind Beneath My Wings. Connor needs more cookie baking with Cordelia. <laughs> what? What? That's not cookies, my friend. That is nasty. <laughs> I feel like that's the song, but it makes me sick a little bit that that's the song. Makes you sick a little bit? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no. The damn 25 second timer. I could be wrong. I, I thought I, th are. I, I, for some reason, was channeling "Wind Beneath My oh, Wings," which doesn't make sense. But then, and that's what I chose. But I'm thinking it may be "Time After Time." It doesn't. It can't be "Total Eclipse of Heart," even though that makes sense with the whole vampire thing thematically. But it doesn't sound like the kind of song that they would dance to. But Can't we'll see. Party monster with uh, Macaulay Culkin, which is worth a watch too. Us? You're yes, talking about? Yes, he did. Yes, Turn Seth Green. Da, 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 and, he's da, da, da. The, and I just found that he's the voice of Howard the Duck in the uh, MCU. I know what? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna reveal this answer. Dang! Dang! How many people chose it, and how many people were right? I did answer right. You're <laughs> this. Nice! I was like, don't second guess yourself! Uh, Puffy goes, you're a pig, Spike, and Spike says, yeah, well, I'm not the one who wanted Wing Beneath My Wings for the first dance. He says it, <laughs> says it loud enough for everybody to hear to make fun of Buffy. Yeah! That was the spell! Ready? Steady? Next? No! Go back to 200! I thought you were the one, Luna! I thought you were the one! Next question. What were the names of Riley's two best commando friends? Was it Andrew and Graham, Forrest and Warren, Forrest and Graham, or Warren and Andrew? 
a little bit easier. It's a little bit easier. If you've watched the entire series, a little bit easier. More of not for knowing what it is, but knowing who it is not. I will be I will be shocked if somehow I got this wrong because I'm ninety percent positive I got it right. Yeah. I was gonna say this one's just a little bit easier just based on elimination of who you know is in the trio. So I wanna see those other yes, characters. Cue the, cue the faux Riley <laughs> shipping montage. Hey. One sucked the most. Which one? One of them was one of the best side characters in the whole season, and one of them sucked the most. Cue for yeah. Riley! Real answer? Forrest and Graham. Yay! Because if you recall, uh, Warren was Warren, and Andrew, Andrew. is in the last season. Yeah. 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 In the last two seasons, I guess, but yeah. Ready for the next question? Next. In Choices, we learned that Willow got into several universities. Which of the following was not mentioned as one of them? Was it Cambridge, Oxford, Harvard, or Yale? It's a little hard. A little hard. Oh, oh, Tucker's brother. You're right. Tucker, Tucker's brother. Oh, man, this is hard. Yeah. I bet we gotta just answer. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't make sense, but uh, I won't miss it. We'll see. Waiting for the players. And remember, it's kind of a cheap move, but you don't have to answer. It's kind of a cheap move, though. Alright, revealing. Cambridge! Cambridge! Yes! <laughs> Damn it, I should have clicked it sooner. I need to trust my initial judgment on these. Will, will also Although, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, you go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say facts. You go ahead. Oh, well, I was going to say I need to trust my initial judgment, but then again, I was wrong about Willow with Oz, and I knew that Oz actually said that line, but it was a second too late. So, anyway. Not cheap strategy. Always answer. All or nothing. Uh, Willow also got into MIT. Eventually, she decided to go to the U.S. Sunnydale to be a Buffy. Your, yeah. your, 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 your. Next question. And a couple more questions. We'll take a little bit of a break so that people can go to the bathroom and come back and do all the stuff because that means we'll be halfway through. So, next question. Hell yeah, Jarvis. How many episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer feature no vampires? Is it as eight, I still got a lot six, of drinking to do. zero, or one? That zero looks like an eight, too. That's a zero. Thank you, my friend. Cthulhu for the hydrate! Zero vampires. Mm, I'm just gonna go with this. How many Buffy episodes always... of Buffy feature no vampires? Zero vampires. Wait, you're ahead of me? Gotta be faster. Gotta be faster. Wrong and faster. Luna. Wrong and faster. The light lets me answer quickly, but poorly. Reveal answer. Eight. Eight whole yes. episodes have no vampires in it. I am racing yep. to the bottom. Those eight are Witch, The Pack, The Pack, Pack, excuse me, Pack as in like hyenas. I, Robot, what an episode that was. Eugene, The Puppet Show, Inca Mommy Girl, Living Conditions, Fear Itself, and Beer Bad. All eight of those half of those, no half of those episodes were in the first and second seasons. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? No! It's correct! It's correct again! That was a guess. It was certain it was seven. Isn't there some in the credits? I don't know! For which show? For which episode? Racing to the bottom. One more question, then we'll take a, a five minute break. Next question. Click. What does Dawn get Tara for her birthday in the episode 
family. I'm pretty sure the opening credits don't count for that. True. True, true, true. Clicked instantly. She's like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Was it a crystal ball, a wand, a kitten, or a broom? It took me a long time to figure out Kitty Fantastica was the cat that they had gotten. Because they never show it besides that one episode. Which, that's not helping you with this question at all. It doesn't actually, because it's, it's not right. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I was right, and I, I wish I had clicked it sooner. I hate when I have doubts. Damn it. True that. True that, Rachel. Alright, reveal answers. It was a broom. A broom. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I questioned myself. <laughs> um, Scoobies are having Tara's birthday party at the bronze, and Dawn hands her a broom with a red gift ribbon. If you said a crystal ball, that was Giles that gave her a crystal ball. The crystal ball, Giles said no one was allowed. Yep, willy nilly crossbow accident. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 no. She died. You want to see the scores for now? Let's show scores. So far, total scores on top. We got Rachel barreling ahead at the moment, but if Rachel starts getting ones wrong, then there's a very good chance everybody can catch up. Then we have Drink. Then we have Zeno. Then we have Novel. Then we have Love. Then we have King and Kyle and Janobi and Jesse Groves and then Jeffable and then contestant number 13, which we also know as Cthulhu, and then Dice and then Luna and then Jarvis at the very bottom. Jarvis is beating Luna. By negative 80,000 points at the moment, Luna. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. But uh, those are the scores at the moment, but they can certainly, certainly change at any time.